right, Trail Freak here, coming at you from Trail Freak Garage. Uh, temporary workspace until I get my bike shed up here to my new place, but uh, that might be a couple years when I get that thing up here. Anyway, on today's video, I will be stripping down the Evil Reckoning and giving it a, a once over, a clean up, uh, I'm going to repaint it, I'm going to check out uh, my carbon repair, see how it's holding up, but seems to be holding up pretty good. And just by looking at it here, get a closer inspection to it when I get everything off here. So, probably save y'all trouble with me taking this thing apart and showing y'all that mess. I'm just going to do like a little time lapse of it getting stripped down. Then I'll get into sanding uh, the bike down, sanding the frame down, and getting it painted. And be, I think, I think just needs a good cleaning and a good painting. Everything else seems to be all right. I need some new grips. These are getting worn out. Uh, the rev grips, I can get the barrels, replace those. Get some new uh, lines on here. Uh, derailleur cable, get some new stuff like that. But other than that, it's good to go. Oh, I might send my shock to get service and my forks I might send them off to dvo get them serviced get them taken care of and she'll be ready for some more enduro action hopefully this year i will do a couple might only do a couple because whew, it's getting more expensive every year it, the prices of racing just keeps going up and up but anyway stay tuned watch the time lapse of the tear down and stay tuned for the all the paint stuff going on here, so. Strip off the uh, stickers and the ride wrap. So that's going to take a minute to get all that off. I'm not going to film that. So all you do is just peel that crap off. That's all you got to do. And it's like my uh, carbon repair job is holding up pretty good. It's like uh, it's on the clear is peeling off. Ain't a big deal. I use some cheap clear over tie. I shouldn't have, but I use some cheap clear spray paint. So. I didn't hold it too good, but like, it's holding up. It held up so far. It's holding up. So, and uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I bonded my uh, uh, what are you, down to you protector, whatever you want to call it. I bonded it to the frame, so it made it even stronger. And this thing took a couple whacks. Took one there. I don't even know how that happened. Man, that's pretty deep. I'm going to have to repair that. <laughs> but this thing, it's, it's strong. It's good to go. So I'm going to strip all the stickers and then ride wrap off of it. Start sanding on this thing. So stay tuned for that. All right, so I got all my decals and the ride wrap removed. Most of it. All that I could get or see but yeah the uh so I'm about ready to sand and you're not supposed to sand carbon with a sander or anything like that you're supposed to scrape the paint off the razor blades and that will take for freaking ever another way to do it is to uh, media blast media blast and carbon fiber a uh, see like a walnut shell or a cherry pit. I see a lot of people use a cherry pit to uh, strip it down with media blast. I don't have all that stuff, uh, and I think you're not supposed to be doing what I'm doing. So don't do what I do. 
but if you do do what I do just keep in mind that you really do not want to sand down to the uh, carbon layer because that would cause fraying and all that good stuff and will mess up the uh, structure of the carbon fiber but you see I've done that I, I repaired that and no it's not the best thing to do but I did it I still ride the bike I'm gonna ride it after I do this so I'm gonna sand it down trying I'm trying I'm just trying to knock down the clear coat and the top layer of paint and if you know anything about evil their paint jobs were not were not the best it's taking the ride wrap off it's taking clear off with it so i'm gonna get to sanding uh, when you're sanding always use a uh, ppe for protective uh, personal equipment respirator you can use respirator regular dust mask will do but if you do sand through this carbon fiber carbon fiber is not really is really bad for you if you breathe it in so wear a respirator for carbon fiber so let's get to sanding and I'm using, I'm starting off with a aggressive 80 grit. So I want to hurry up. I'm trying to show out. Because I want to get this knocked down as quick as I can. Because I'm already behind on this thing. But uh, let's get the sanding. Let's, I mean, let's do it. break all the way through there's gonna be some spots that I can't help it like in the corners and everything but that's what I'm looking for right there is just sand it barely sand it down and have a little bit of carbon showing through but that's that's the goal that's the goal right there on the whole frame get it like that then I go and I do my primer paint all that good stuff I'm gonna get back to sanding uh, that's it I'm, I'm not gonna show you the whole process Next time you see this, I'll probably have it all sanded down and getting ready for primer. So, we'll see you then. All right, I got it sanded down. Uh, I didn't film it, but I went ahead and primed it. Got a few layers of primer on here. I'm gonna sand, wet sand it with about 320 grit uh, wet sandpaper. Get it sanded down real good, and I'm going to. Uh, Primer it again, see how it looks, and I might just scuff it up and get the base coat on here. Get it, get it ready for base coat and some color. So I'm gonna do a little sanding. Oh, you can see right here, I left me a little window so you can see the carbon repair I did a while back. Still holding up. So that'd be, I think that'd be pretty cool. Be able to see that. Anyway, get the sanding. I like to use soapy water. Put soapy water on there. Get it sanded down real good. Okay, do another coat of primer. That'll be ready. So. I will see you then with the when I get ready to do the base coat. And the base coat's gonna be the same color as this. And the color coat, you'll just have to wait and see.
that's the best way to shake up a can of paint right there made a little homemade rig here but you can buy something similar for doing the same thing I'm doing here all right so you can see I got my primer sanded we'll do another coat of primer I, will, I might sand that down and do that I might do two coats of primer over this coat of primer so it'll be three coats of primer First two coats, we sanded the last coat. I shouldn't have to sand it, so I'm just spraying on that. And I should be wearing my protective gear, but it's windy out here, and I think I should be okay. We are primed and sanded and ready for a base coat. I'll be using this uh, tropical, tropical Glitz uh, Snow White as my base coat. The color you will see coming up after this, you will see the color. It's going to be obnoxious, but you will see it. So I'm going to do probably two to three coats of this. Uh, that should be good enough for the other coat of paint. So, Base coat's done. Let that dry. I may hit it again. I may not. It looks pretty good right now. So I sprayed it about two or three. Well, yeah, three coats. I got three coats on it right now. I might hit it one more time, or I might. I probably will wet sand it. Then I will do one more coat just to get it all nice and smooth. Got my. I got four coats of white this frame now it's time for the color and it's gonna be a tennis ball neon I told you it's gonna be obnoxious it's gonna be pretty bright it's gonna be brighter than the original paint it's gonna be pretty cool I think each his own all right I will be using uh my uh respirator here thing and uh just because I'm on the inside now, the outside is the wind blowing everything, and I didn't really need it, but I need it now because I'm inside. Time to get up. Spray another coat.
here it is. It's all together. It looks cool from a distance. I don't know if you can see it, but my paint job, it failed. After I did the clear coat, it looked great. Slick, it was perfect. I let it sit. Uh, I didn't touch it for like three months because I got busy with other stuff and everything else. So I come back, I looked at it, and it was terrible looking. I don't know what happened, but the paint wrinkled up like it was on steroids or something. It's all wrinkled up and everything, and I don't know exactly what happened. So that's a fail on the paint job. It looks good from a distance. It's nice and bright, and I've had a had it together for a couple weeks now so i'm just now filming this together but it's a being the neon paint it's already fading up here on the top tube because i have a little sticker right here you can see where the sticker was and everything but yeah not a successful paint job uh i'm probably ain't gonna i'm probably gonna just leave it like it is and just let it be uh bike's getting old and I'm trying to get me another bike one day, hopefully soon, maybe. I don't know, but I'm still gonna ride it. Carbon uh, carbon repair is holding up. It's kicking butt still, and uh, just I messed up the paint job somehow. But anyway, I did all the steps you're supposed to do to get a good paint job. It just didn't happen so if you made it this far into the video thanks for watching and uh hopefully hopefully the next time i tackle a paint job it would be a whole lot better than this one but uh it is what it is i guess so i'm just gonna keep on riding and uh like for y'all to do the same just ride man oh take it easy